Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fish with Flies. Thanks for checking in. Uh, I'm going to be tying up a super simple midge dry fly pattern today. Uh, to get started in the vise, I'm going to use a TMCO 2487 in size 24. This is just a caddis pupa hook. For the thread, I'm using Semperfly Nano Silk in 50 denier black. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with my thread right behind the hook eye. And I'm using this Nano Silk uh, specifically to keep the profile or the bulk on this fly as minimal as possible. And as always, I'm using my renowned scissors today. Uh, I've tied about a thousand flies on this pair of scissors already, and uh, they still cut nano silk like butter. So super sharp, handmade. Uh, go check them out. The link's in my link tree um, if you haven't already. For the body of this fly, I'm just using a, a scrap piece of black two millimeter foam. I'm going to go ahead and roll it between my fingers uh, a little bit just to make it even a little bit more slender. But there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the back end of this fly about the length, a full length of the hook. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and secure it with a couple wraps. And then I'm going to move my thread in front of the piece of foam and let it hang. For the wings on this, I'm using a piece of one inch, one inch piece of gray Zelon or McFlylon in this case. I'm going to get it. I'm going to split that piece in half and then I'm going to split the half in half again. So I'm using a quarter of one strand and I'm going to go ahead and secure it by figure eighting or X wrapping, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go two wraps over and then I'm going to change directions and two wraps back. And uh, now is the time to adjust these wings however you like them. Once you, once you have them where you like, then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my thread to right behind the hook eye fold that foam over and secure it one more time to just create a little bulbous head on this. And then I'm gonna take a scrap piece of two millimeter orange foam. You could use one or one in one millimeter or razor foam. Secure that with two or three wraps again. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that's sitting on top and whip finish right over top of that, uh, that foam. And go ahead and snip my thread and then I'm going to cut this head a little bit shorter and cut off that piece of orange foam to make a little little hot spot. Last step is to cut those wings. I'm going to make them just shorter than the tail end of this body and there you have it. Again super simple midge dry fly pattern, high floating. Tie them up. Let me know what you think. Thanks for checking in.